Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your audio sound better using Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So before proceeding on, you need to make sure when you are recording the video, you are recording a great audio signal. If you record the audio with a lot of noise, then maybe you are not able to reduce those noise using any editing software. So make sure you have kept your microphone closer to your mouth. Suppose here I'm recording the audio using a shotgun microphone and the microphone is maybe six or seven inch away from my mouth make sure you have kept your microphone closer to your mouth and one more thing if you can record the audio using a separate audio recorder so that you can record a uncompressed audio signal suppose here i'm using zoom h6 and this recorder is recording my audio in wav format wav format is like a raw format for audio you are getting uncompressed audio for your video so when you are editing those audio you will get a lot of headroom to play with and if you record the audio directly with the video the audio is baked with the video and the format is not that much flexible to edit so if you can then record the audio separately but if you cannot then don't worry i'm going to show you how you can improve the audio quality in adobe premiere pro first let me show you how i record and edit my video so here i have recorded my face cam and this is my separate audio that i have recorded using the audio recorder right so i have to bring those two clips here in my premiere pro and now i'm just clicking and dragging this clip here on my timeline to make a new sequence if i play it back then you'll see the audio quality is not that much great because this is my camera audio right hey guys what is up this is james and welcome to another this is bullshit so i need to sing this audio which i have recorded separately with this video to sing the audio what i have to do i have to click and drag this audio here on the timeline then i have to select both audios and videos then i have to right click then i have to click synchronize from here right if i click synchronize then this window will pop up and from here you need to select the audio and track channel is one then click ok then premiere pro will automatically align those two audio here right you can see the audio have been aligned and now i have to trim out the unusable part i'm just clicking and dragging again here then i can select this track and click and drag it here to replace the camera audio now if i play it back hey guys what is up this is james you Welcome see the audio is Adobe better right and here i have to relink this audio and video again because this audio and video is not linked together to link it up I have to select both audio and video then right click and from here i have to click on link right click here then the video and audio is linked together so if you're recording the audio directly on your camera then you don't need to follow this step you can skip that step to sync the audio you can follow from here right so here if i play it back you'll see hey guys what is up there are some noise first i need to reduce the noise to reduce the noise you need to apply effect which called denoise so go to effects panel if you don't see go to window then go to effects click here then this panel will appear you have to search for an effect which is denoise you'll see there is an effect called denoise you have to click and drag this denoise here on your video now if you play it back the noise hey is guys, gone what is up this is james and but to the another audio added. have been decreased to right the quality of your audio have been decreased so we need to tweak some settings go to window then click effects control then this panel will appear just scroll down here you'll see denoise from this denoise you have to click on edit icon right click here then this panel will appear you can see the amount of denoise have been applied maybe 40 percent this is the amount that will be applied by default we need to reduce the amount we don't need to reduce a lot of noise right i will keep the denoise amount maybe under 10 percent maybe eight or seven that is a sweet number i think that will not decrease the quality of your audio and still that will reduce the noise right if i play it back now hey guys what is up this is james and welcome to another adobe Premium you can see the audio noise have been decreased so that is the first step when you are editing the audio or uh, in adobe premiere pro you need to denoise the audio now you have to equalize the audio right how you can equalize you can use different equalizer if i go here on the effects panel then under audio effects go to filter and eq here you'll see there are a lot of equalizer i will apply parametric equalizer this one you can apply graphic equalizer or graphic equalizer 20 bands it doesn't matter but i'm comfortable to work with parametric equalizer so click and drag it here on your video now i can go to effects control panel and under parametric equalizer again click on edit 
from here you need to apply high pass filter and low pass filter that will reduce the humming noise or the noise from your ac or computer fan uh, so to apply high pass filter you need to click here on this hp click here and again click lp which is low pass right now if i play it back show how you can make your maybe it will sound a little bit muddy you can just change the frequency maybe 25 hertz right so without wasting any more so that's the second step to apply high pass filter and low pass filter now the third step which is actually applying equalizer on your voice right again click and drag this parametric equalizer here on your video clip now again go to effects control panel and scroll down the second one parametric equalizer click on edit and from the preset area click here then you'll see voice enhancer equalizer preset just click to apply the preset and you can just tweak the preset as you want i will just go here and then i'll listen to my audio hey guys what is up this is i think i need to change the high pass because we have already applied high pass filter we don't need to apply the high pass filter again so i'm just disabling that and then i will lower this one and maybe i'll change this frequency this much james and welcome to another adobe premiere pro Tutorial. if i show you the before this is the before what is up this is james and, and this is the after adobe premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can make your audio sound better using adobe premiere pro this preset will apply a lot of clarity to your bias if you're using a muddy microphone then changing this frequency the low frequency will add a lot of clarity on your voice right so without wasting any more time let's get started i will not decrease the low frequency a lot maybe this much i think that is better Guys, what is up? This is James, and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro Tutorial. Now the time is to apply compression. So, what is compression? Compression is a process where you are leveling the audio. So, when you are talking, you are not talking at the same level, right? Sometimes you are talking low, sometimes you are talking high. So, the compression will compress the high volume to match the lower volume of your voice, right? So to apply compression, you need to go to here on the effects panel under amplitude and compression. You'll see single band compressor. You can use this one or you can use multi band compression, whatever you want. But for this tutorial, I will use single band compression. Just click and drag this one here. Then again, go to effects control panel and under single band compression, click edit. And from here, you need to change some settings. So first, let's play back the audio and welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial so just see here on the audio level what is the average audio level of your video don't look at the top of audio level just see what is the average audio level of your video yeah. today i'm going to show you how you can make your audio sound better using adobe premiere pro so i think minus 18 is the average audio level for my video so from the single band compressor you need to apply a threshold which is the average audio level here right so I'll put minus 18 and then the ratio how much compress you want to have if that audio level cross minus 18 dB right so I'll put here maybe 3 or 4 because for voiceover or dialogue I think 3 or 4 is good enough 4 is to 1 then the attack and release just keep it as it is 10 millisecond and 100 millisecond and from the output gain just increase the output gain needed for your audio if i play it back you will see the audio level is not that much loud right James and welcome to another adobe so premiere i need to premiere increase premiere. the audio Today level I'm going to show you how you can make your audio sound better using adobe premiere pro so without wasting any more time let's get started so that's it we have already applied the compression hey guys right? what is up this is james and welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can now the last part so when i am talking let's get started Any more time let's get started you can see that audio has been clipped so we need to apply a filter that will prevent the clipping so to apply that effect you need to go to here on this effects panel and from here you need to apply hard limiter this one click and drag this hard limiter here on your video then go to effects control panel and from here click edit and from here you need to select the maximum amplitude for your video so i think minus 2 db is a great number so when you are talking it will not cross the level of minus 2 db that will prevent the clipping so if i again play it back any more time let's get started you can see that is not clipping anymore 
so that is the thing usually i do for my audio editing right so every time when you are recording a video and when you are editing a video doing this step again and again will kill a lot of time if you want you can do it just by one click how you can do that you have to make a preset to make a preset you need to go here and select the denoise then press ctrl or comment on your keyboard then select parametric equalizer single band compressor and then herd limiter after selecting all of the effects right click here and then click save preset and name it i will name it maybe better sound then i'll click ok so the preset have been saved so to apply the effect you need to go to here on this effects panel and from here you can just search for the effect that you have saved i have saved as this one better sound so i need to click and drag this here on my video to apply it so first let's delete this i don't need that clear then if i play it back hey guys, this is the before if i want to edit the audio i need to click and drag it right how you can make your audio sound better using adobe premiere pro so, so you can see the effects have been applied so whenever you need to edit your audio you can just click and drag this effect on top of your video that will edit the audio automatically if i show you the before again hey guys what is up this is james and welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial so after applying the effects this is the after hey guys what is up this is james and welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can make so we have dramatically improved the quality of our audio using adobe premiere pro so that's it that is how you can improve your audio using adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye